Hi guys, so I'm going to start about moisturizing my face with this vitamin E skincare cream and it's really good for your skin if you have um, for anti-aging benefits. So I'm going to go ahead on and apply that to my skin. It makes my skin really soft. So next I'm going to go ahead and apply the Fate Milk from Palmer's. This is for dark spots um, as you can see. Well, if it'll focus. Come on now. <laughs> So yeah, I have dark spots on both sides of my cheeks, so that's why I'm going to apply those. I have a few on my forehead, but yeah, I just apply that for um, to fade my dark spots and for extra coverage with the sunscreen. Next, I'm just going to apply some lip balm just to put on my lips so they won't be all chappy and stuff like that um, throughout the video. Alright, so I have the Pure Least Daily Moisturizer, and this actually came in my um, Essence Beauty Box, but I will leave a link below to where you can purchase this moisturizer. And then I'm going to try the Becca, I'm going to do the Becca Primer, you guys know, that's bomb, like it keeps me mad all day, I don't have to worry about getting oily or anything like that. So now it's time to do my eyebrows, I'm just going to spool them out. Um, with my spoolie. Um, this brush that I got it off from Macari. So it's not available. Well, you may can find it on like eBay or something. But then I'm going to try the, I'm going to go in with the NYX um, eyebrow gel. And I think this is an espresso. You guys, this stuff is like bomb. And I tell you, it is bomb. I love the NYX eyebrow gel. Then I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color B for Bronze. Um, I don't like to, I don't always uh, highlight my brows. Some people do. I like using the one, the color that matches my skin tone just because I like that better. So I'm going to take this angle brush and just um, go in and blend out the concealer that I apply around my brows. Yes, honey, yes. So now I'm going to go in with the Cool Tan, the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cool Tan and prime my eyelids. And I use this because my primer was in the other room and I didn't feel like getting up and getting it. So I was like, I'm just going to use my highlighter. So now I'm going to go in with this little brown color from the BH Cosmetics Neutral Palette um, and go in with this as my transition color. Um... You can, I'll leave a link below to where you can find this palette, but it's on the BH Cosmetics site. And it's like the 88 Neutral palette, I think that's what it's called. So now I'm going to go in with this brush with the black, um, the black color and apply this in the corner of my eye. And these colors do not have names, so I just have to say black color or whatever color. But yeah, I'm just going to go in really good with that with that black color and just so you guys know I am not a beast at the eyeshadow um I'm still working on it but um I try it so yeah um I'm just gonna continue to go into my crease with that um black shadow so now we're gonna go in with the Milani um, eyeshadow in the color 29 Bella Rose and I'm going to spray my brush just uh, so it can apply on my lid better I'm just going to put it on my lid this is not a cut crease but I just want it to be on my lid and if you hear that purring it's my cat I'm sorry he's just you know sleep. so now I'm going to go in with this pink shade um, in my other BH Cosmetics palette and I'll link that below as well I just want to um put a more vivid color on my lid to, you know, add a little oomph to it, just a little oomph to it. So now what I'm doing is just going back in and uh, deepening the dark shadow. And then I'm going to go in with the brown, the black, the pink, um, all those colors to just blend that really well. And then I'm going to take this brush and just go in and just blend all of it together. I don't want any harsh lines or whatever, so I'm just going to blend all of the colors together. 
Then we're gonna take these Broadway lashes. And I did my lashes off camera. So now it's time for me to color correct. And this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the Orange Corrector. And I'm just going to blend this into my face. I color correct my dark spots and I color correct around my mouth because it's a little darker there. I have dark spots really bad on my cheeks as you see in the beginning of the video. And I have a few blackheads on my forehead, like between my eyebrows. So I just went in and concealed those as well. Go, well, I'm going to take the matte poreless foundation in the color, color 355 coconut and I'm going to mix it with the Maybelline Better Stay Super Stay Better Skin foundation in the color 94 almond. I'm going to mix these two colors together on my, um, on my hand and then I'm going to go in um, and apply it to my face. Um, Yeah, so I'm going to apply it to my face and uh, then I'm going to blend, blend it all out with a damp beauty blender I sprayed it with my NYX setting spray my NYX matte setting spray so I'm just gonna go in and you know blend all that foundation out on my face and then I'm going to make sure it gets in the line of demarcations on my forehead and I'm just going in and fixing my brow because I messed up and I forgot to do this when I was doing my brows in the beginning of the video but I'm taking this brow sculpting gel by Ardell to lay my hair down on my brows you know so now I'm just going to go back in and make sure everything is all buffed out, blended out, you know. Then we're going to take my concealer and cool tan and take a brush and conceal under my eyes, um, down the bridge of my nose, um, on like the sides of my mouth, down on my chin, and my my thingy right there. And then I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color uh, Mahogany and sculpt out my nose. Yeah, I think that's mahogany. I'm going to sculpt out my nose with this brush because, you know, my nose is kind of big. So I'd like to, <laughs> I like to, I like to contour my nose every time I do my makeup because, you know, it's kind of big. Can't help it, you know, these chins. But yeah, so I'm going to go. So now I'm going to take this um, Black Radiance Contour Palette and use the contour color to contour my, um, my cheeks and a little bit around the top of my head, around my forehead. And then I'm going to take my damn beauty blender again and blend my concealer and my nose contour out. gonna put my Ben Nye setting powder um around the places that I highlighted. Um, I hate I don't really like the setting powder because it um it gets it leaves like an ashy cast. So that's why um I use my L'Oreal True Match powder um to go in and um I, I use my L'Oreal True Match powder to go in and swipe it out so that it won't leave an ashy cast. So now I'm going to go in my City Color Contour FX powder and use that contour to deepen my contour on my cheeks and around my forehead. Um, it's a darker color than the one in the Black Radiance powder, so that's why I like using it over the one, over that one. And then I like to go in, in circular motions and, you know, just blend out my contour real quick. You know, just blend it out real good, real good, girl, real good. And then I'm going to go in with this highlight from Black Radiance. Y'all, this highlight is popping. It's really, really nice um, on darker skin tones. Um, So I'm just going to bathe in this highlighter. Y'all already know. You know, you already know. Um, I'm going to apply some to my eyebrows, under my eyebrows to highlight them. And then I'm going to apply some in my tear ducts because I'm extra like that. So, you know. You know, just highlight the nose just a little bit. You know, just get in there. You know, get in there. Get that highlight in there, girl. Get it in there. Then I'm going to go in with my black eyeliner and do my um waterline. I'm going to go in with some mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm going to go in with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray and just bathe in this setting spray, y'all. Bathe in it. I got this technique from Tia Walker. She said that it make your makeup look more skin finishy, if that's a word. I don't think it is, but 
yeah i just like to bathe in that um setting spray then i'm gonna go in with the nyx lip liner in the color cabaret and just line my lips real quick you know real quick then i'm gonna go in with the wet and wow lipstick i think this is like the five five oh four four or something like that and i'm going to just like not fill my all my lips in just around the outer portions i'm going to blend that out with my finger then i'm going to take the nyx lip plumper lip gloss and i'm going to go over that again still staying on the outer parts of my lip then i'm going to go in with the mac um the mac lip gloss and dazzle glass um and i'm going to focus that on the inner parts of my lip this is a really 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 pretty color and it smells so good 